Hello folks, once again, welcome to another segment of Roots Gourmet Kitchen. Today I had a request to prepare Jamaican Aki and Saltfish. For those of you who don't know, Aki and Saltfish is Jamaican national dish. I will respectfully make this dish in the best of my ability. So today of course for this recipe I do need of course Aki the Jamaican fruit. I use Dunn's River Fort Aki. You can get it in the tin or if you're as fortunate as some other people you can get it straight from Jamaica. And of course salted fish. I have a cup and a half of salted fish, two tins of Aki, one whole onion chopped fine. You could cut your onions however you like but I kind of prefer to have it cut small three to four heads of garlic chopped, two stems of green onions or scallion. So I have two of these in here. I have one and a half tomato. I have a, a scotch bonnet, one and a half in this bowl. I have some real thyme, real dry thyme, red, yellow, and green bell peppers. Let us go to the stove and start this process. Um, if you notice folks, I didn't mention salt. But the reason why I didn't mention salt in this recipe is because we are using cod fish which is already very salted. You have to pre you have to pre-boil the salt fish in hot water on the stove at least twice to get all the salt out of that salt fish. And I've already done that previously before my prep time. I also have here some black pepper. You can't cook with the black pepper. Okay, so we're gonna start getting this dish all prepared. I have my pot already going because I like to start as I get on the stove. I don't like to wait too long. I like to have things going, the stove simmering. So there we are. We are going to saute the onions and the garlic together for just a brief moment it's until the juices start flowing out and all that sugar start to come out of the onion. I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can. You can serve ackee and saltfish with different things white rice, um, dumplings or fried bakes, as we say in the Caribbean, fried bakes and in Jamaica it says dumpling but it's the same mixture, same recipe so either way you can use any of these. You can have it with whatever you want, festivals but it doesn't matter which way you have it, it's always delicious. So I hope you guys will try this dish for the ones of you who don't know this dish. I'm going to throw my peppers in there and folks you don't have to put all these peppers in there but like I said I always think food should be colorful and presented pretty. So I love to have vibrant colors in my pot. It attracts me when I see vibrant looking food. If you go to a restaurant, you see some food looking so limp, you're not going to purchase it. You go to the store and see food looking vibrant, colorful, it draws your attention and you want to actually purchase some of it, you're thinking it's going to be tasting really good. So that's what I'm talking about when I say you make your food nice and colorful. So that's what I'm, I'm doing here. And the reason why I'm sauteing this first because the ackee pads, they're soft and buttery. So we don't cook them too long. And you don't want the vegetables too hard in there so you have to saute it a little bit first. And once it's all sauteed, we just start throwing everything in there and then we're good to go. It's very easy to make dish. Folks, it's very windy outside today, so 
if you're hearing the gushing of the winds, is we having a really, really windy day today. Okay, I'm gonna throw the saltfish in. And folks, you see my saltfish are in big chunks. The reason why I usually leave it in big chunks is because when you stir, you start stirring, it's gonna eventually break up a bit. And you don't want it to be too, too, too fine. You want to be able to eat some saltfish with every bite. The onion with everything is smelling so delicious here. And of course you're gonna put the ackee in last because it's the softest thing in the pot. And we don't want it to get all crushed up. We wanna be able to eat ackee in every bite as we go along. We're gonna eat some saltfish, some ackee in every bite as we go along. So that's the reason why. And that's just hot bunny pepper. If you do like it hot, guys, it's okay. You can do as much as you want. Okay. Just let them see in the pot. Look at that for how good that looks. Very pretty. And with a little bit of margarine in the pot. Stir it in. Some green onions. Okay, I'm gonna throw my tomatoes in at the moment. I don't like my tomatoes too, too soft in the ackee and sulfur, so I put it in for last. Very pretty, look at that folks. I think I need a little bit of oil in there, just as you go along, if you need anything, you can always put a little in there, and I think I need a little bit of oil in there. Just show them. This is, I just give a little bit of. Just a little bit. But I have a, a teaspoon of oil. You don't want it too dry, you want to have a little moisture in there. A little bit of black pepper. Folks, if you like it hot, you can put all the black pepper. Okay, now we are going to throw our ackee in. And we're basically, we're basically done. We are going to start it very gentle now because what happens is you don't want your ackee breaking up. You want to enjoy this delicate food. Look at that, guys. Jamaican ackee and saltfish. You're just going to let it simmer for a few minutes, like just about three minutes, and then it's all ready. Look how pretty that looks. Yes, everybody has a national dish. I'm going to try to see if I can make everybody's national dish. I'm going to make my national dish next, which you guys don't know is all done. I'm going to make that soon. It's coming. So first I'm going to turn my stove off now because this is ready and like I said you can eat this with anything you like so today I'm going to plate this with a little bit of green bananas. I didn't have time to make any dumplings but um, guess what? We are going to plate this ackee and saltfish. With all that beautiful ackee. Mm -hmm. 
see you can see the sawfish between there the tomatoes so every bite you take you'll be having enough ackee sawfish and bananas and I'm gonna serve this with a few fingers of bananas which I have on the side here look at that There you are folks, Jamaica National Dish Aki and Saltfish served with green bananas. And there you are, a little bit of green onion over that. There you are. Today folks, if you like my recipe that I've just shared with you, please feel free to leave a thumbs up, leave a message, and please subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends and family the goodness of fruit gourmet kitchen I am here to please you guys with whatever requests you guys have I'm going to make them one by one they're going to be made so if you see it's going to come up this week it's going to be coming next week or the following week because I have quite a few requests in order so here we are Jamaica Aki and Sawfish, the national dish, served with green bananas. And I'm going to get in there, folks, and I'm going to tell you how this tastes. I'm a, I love bananas. I love bananas. I love green bananas. That's one of my favorite. Mm -mm -mm. This is delicious. You have some bananas, some ackee, some onions, some pepper, some green onions. Beautiful. Here to you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys another time. Ciao for now.